On today's show, I'm going to show you guys a different filament runout sensor I've been experimenting with. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to The First Layer. My name is Brian and today I wanted to play with a little bit of a different product here. Now I was shopping on AliExpress as some of us do when we're bored and I came across this little filament runout sensor. Now this is by Triangle Labs and the only reason I picked this up is because I was trying to solve a problem. My problem was my Creality CR10S. The filament runout sensor is not a great filament runout sensor out of the box, honestly. And I found that after three to four months of usage, it developed a groove where the filament ran through and resulted in false positives of the filament being run out. So after a while, I got tired of it. I installed the bypass module and eventually I updated my firmware not even to include a filament runout sensor. However, the CR-10S is a big printer and I wanna do some big prints, namely some that will be more than a kilogram of filament. So what is the solution? Well, this little product here might be the answer to my problems. Let's have a closer look at it and see what it does. All right, let's have a closer look at this filament runout sensor. So what we've got in here is we've got a little PCB inside the plastic and this nice large switch in here. Now there's a little wheel attached to the armature of the switch and what that results in is the filament as it's guided through, it actually rolls along your switch. It doesn't go and press against it. So the benefit to this is there's less friction of your filament moving through the switch and it's going to result in less wear of the arm in general. We also have two LEDs located on either side. One LED is a green one which shows if the unit is powered up and the other one flashes red when your filament runs out. So you get a nice visual indication if you run out of filament in addition to your printer knowing. You've got two connectors at the bottom. It's implied that you can actually daisy chain the connectors. So if you have a multi-filament machine or you have multiple extruders, you can daisy chain these together and any single one failure will cause the machine to pause itself. Now another nice feature of this switch is that on either side of the assembly, you have a larger opening. And what is that great for? Well, if you have a piece of Bowden tube, I have some Capricorn tubing here, you can actually partially insert it right into the assembly and you'll see it sits about oh a couple centimeters into the unit and what I like this for is that you can feed filament both in and out on the other side within a Bowden tube and the Bowden will handle any curvature of the filament so that the filament is nice and straight as it goes through the assembly so if we start inserting this nice little flexible piece of TPE through the unit you're gonna see it go in and of course I have to hold it here because I don't have it mounted but you'll see the switch will cycle nicely back and forth before it comes out almost perfectly straight on the other side. Now as for the cable that this is supplied with, it comes with a cable that's actually terminated on one end for your runout sensor and it's got three other ends on it that are actually already terminated for a standard connector for your machine. So you can go online and find out the exact pinout layout. I'll attach a photo here of the layout on my CR10S using the SKR 1.3 board and you can arrange it according to your printer without having to cut and re-solder new cables. So that's a nice little perk of this machine. Let's go have a look at it installed on my CR10S. All right, so we're at my CR10S. I've mounted the triangle lab sensor on the side of the Z gantry and I might lose a slight amount of build height, but for the sake of this example, it's a nice solid location. I have my reel of filament on top of my machine and I, of course I have my extruder assembly below. So there's a light little green light here indicating that the triangle lab sensor is powered up and the switch is always depressed as long as there's filament in there. That's what we sometimes call fail safe in the industry. So it's good if the switch fails, if we pull the power on it or the switch breaks in there, it's going to go and say we're out of filament. So I prefer safe than sorry in this case. So if we go and pull the filament through and simulate a run out, you're gonna see eventually here that you're gonna hear a nice click and you're gonna have this nice big blinking red light. So that's a nice good indication that you're out of filament and it will report to the machine accordingly. So what do I think about this little sensor? Well, 
This might be the best filament runout sensor I have come across so far in all of my shopping adventures. And it's because it has a couple of the design features that I was considering when designing a filament runout sensor. Namely, the rollerball switch and a means to keep the filament as straight as possible when going through that assembly. So, I'm going to give Triangle Labs a thumbs up on this one. Now, if you want to give it a go, uh, I've posted links in the description below of where to buy this. Uh, they are affiliate links and they help out the channel, but you're also welcome to search it up. And I would, I would say give it a go. I'm happy with this. So with that being said, I want to thank everybody who's helped me out today. Uh, my lovely lady Jess, thank you for all the support so far. My friend Richard, Richard Cleveland, this is your channel and I, I adore it. Thank you so much. His wife Jerry and everyone. I'd like to also thank Spool3D who gives us space. Today I'm shooting from home. However, we shoot generally out of Spool3D and they were kind enough to offer us the space. So thank you Spool3D. You can actually buy this switch there and any other printer part you may need, whether it be parts, filament, printers, services, you name it, they've got it all. So check it out at Spool3D.ca. Print it right, print it with Spool3D. And with that, my friends, I am out of here. I've got one more of these filament sensors to install on one of my machines so that I can lay down that first layer because you must always remember the first layer is your foundation to a great print. Have yourselves a great day. This is Brian, and I am here to teach you about the one... Uh, and not muck it up. I should probably actually mark the other video. See, this is me, like, rambling. I have to talk to the camera, and then it makes me feel better. We'll keep going till we get this right, eh? My com ah, here I'm tripping on my own cables.